Okay, hello friends, this is Yusuf here. Welcome to part 7 of our Crash Course API uh, series. Uh, so, in this video, we're going to learn about uh, something called uh, HTTP basic authentication. Okay, so it is one of the basic methods of securing your API, uh, which involves at least you know, the user ID password to access the API. Uh, first, let's see a demo and then we will see how to create our own uh, API and product that with uh, HTTP basic authentication. So for testing, uh, we're going to take some test API provided by Postman, okay, uh, where we can see here is the URL which supports, uh, no, which requests basic authentication. Let me copy this, okay, and then go to the new window and then paste it. Uh, so if you enter it, what you will see a pop-up asking for HTTP password. So since this particular request is actually uh, protected with the HTTP basic authentication, you are getting this window, okay. So if I give cancel, then you can see uh, it's not authorized. Okay, so let's take F12, and then uh, I will let over this one uh, right hand side. Okay, and uh, let me go to the network tab. So uh, close this. Let's refresh again. So again, you can see that is the password. So as the password is provided on the document, let's give the username as postman and the password as password. Okay, now if you sign in, you can see uh, we get authenticated true. Okay, and here uh, if you take the correct one, okay, so if you come down, you will see something called uh, in request headers uh, authorization. Okay, so it is the header being passed uh, based on the value what we typed. Okay, we type the user in password, then the value passed like this. So let me uh, copy this. So what is this actually? It is actually a base 64 URL encoded version of the value. So which means so let's go to base 64 decode. Let us try to understand how the value is going. Okay. So if you type the value here, uh, okay, I think sometimes it doesn't work. I don't know why. I copy the whole thing. So if you paste it and decode, yeah. So it it I don't know. It works sometimes. It doesn't work sometimes. I don't know. Or maybe I'll go to the new window. So let's type uh, base sixty four decode. Okay, that's great. Maybe I'll, I'll send it again. Let's see what happens this time. Okay, I got it. So let's take this, go to the new browser window and try it. So, postman, uh, password. Okay, so here you can see. Okay, this is the right value. I don't know some something wrong with that one. Okay, let's copy this. Yeah, I think it's a small c. <laughs> anyway, so what we see here actually the same user ID and password. Okay, so whatever value we are providing as a plain text. So the the concatenation is user ID colon uh, password okay and then being converted into something called base 64 encoder then then send back to the server okay then the server can validate the data and then if it is the right username and password then it can give you some response if it is not then it can send you some uh, no uh, 403 status code or not race like that okay now the point is uh, we're going to implement the same thing in our example so uh, how does it work actually how does the browser suddenly gives you and pop up asking for user ID password so for that it is actually the flow so when we send the request to the server, if server should see whether there is any authorization available on the request. Uh, if it is not there but it is needed for that endpoint, then it should return back something called a 401 status code. 
and uh, that 401 status code response should have a header called www authenticate with the value basic relam if this is written back to the browser then the browser will see this header in the response and then understand that uh, this endpoint should be authorized but it is not so let's pop up the window so that the user can enter the user password once that is done you can see here there will be a new header added uh, into the request called authorization the value will be basic space then the base 64 uh, url encoded value of the uh, response i mean the user password we, what we type and then the server can uh, you know parse these details and then uh, it can proceed further and then can return back a yeah, 200 response if it is okay or 403 if it is forbidden now it's time to do a demo okay let me open my terminal and uh, let me go to my desktop Okay. So here is the code where we have been working on the, throughout the series. So I, what I'm going to do? Uh, so here, let me start the server. It should work. Okay. So I'm just going to create a new endpoint. Okay. So something like this uh, at app dot uh, route. Uh, let's call it as secret. Okay. Uh, it's going to be get method so we don't want to provide the methods here and then let's create a function to respond with the data so if i say currently uh, return uh, this is secret so we have just created a dummy endpoint okay just to see uh, just to go step by step actually okay uh, let me open my browser and then go to localhost 5000 secret now we should get the response is secret but this this is no fun so uh, what we should do we should check for the authorization header if we found then we should proceed further if not we should send a 401 response okay so how do we test that so basically uh, we have this request uh, method okay i mean uh, the request method yes request method from the flask library so that has something called authorization okay uh, this will give you the data if it is present okay so it's, it's ready made available so i can say if uh, not request dot authorization okay then there is no authorization so we should ask the browser to open up the pop-up window so for that uh, we're gonna do um, something called make response is actually available on the flask it takes three parameter uh, one is some text and then the status code which is 401 then uh, the header we want to pass in the response so we'll say here like uh, could not verify user any text you want and then 401 then here uh, it's a key value pair for the response header it should be www hyphen authenticate and here it should be basic relam equals to okay uh, okay let me make it uh, single quotes okay so that i can use double quotes inside that uh, relam text okay so here uh, something like uh, need user id and password so uh, so now what happened here uh, this return will make sure that we are sending this 401 if we don't have authorization okay let's save this and then uh, let's go back to our browser and then try again so now this time we get this response okay if i type something like a b c a b c d sign at least the loop goes and then we get this result and if you go to our terminal uh, we see this is the user id password we passed okay then it's up to the application of how to handle it say for example if the user id and uh, password should be a constant say for example then after we see if statement we can still check here uh, okay so basically here we will get the we will pass the authorization okay then if uh, you know uh, request dot authorization okay then how the value is coming coming as username and password okay so like say for example dot username equal to, equal to uh, something like user and request dot authorization dot password equal to password 
okay then you return uh, this thing else again we can return the whole thing so just we are trying to mimic uh, how the postman endpoint was returning okay i hope this will work let's see okay so it says uh, okay uh, coding in javascript and then python at the same time does it doesn't work okay <laughs> okay let's restart the server okay so this time for a better thing i'll go to the new window and then localhost 2000 a secret now if you tie like something and something and then you can see it's, it, it pops up again okay so as you can see here we are receiving the value but since it is not the what we want we are popping up again we give user and then password oh yeah user and password then we, we should get the data anyway so the idea here is actually uh, i want to let you know guys uh, how to product your api with a basic authentication or if you get a request endpoint which you want to make that involves basic authentication then simply it means it should have a header called authorization and uh, the value should be the base 64 url encoded value uh, most of the time it is actually uh, kind of taken care by the programming or the tool itself say for example if i want to make the same api call via postman then probably uh, there is option already available okay uh, which means uh, we don't want to calculate the url encoded value and then provide it and so on uh, it, it will do by the application itself like how the browser is uh, you know doing it for us okay uh, let it open so i can show you a demo or i can do it from here also yeah mm, font request okay so here say for example here our basic authentication from postman okay here you're going to go to the authorization and then type here the basic auth then it will give you the user id password section where you can type the password but when you send the request what will happen uh, hi what is this seriously anyway Okay, this is my version okay so he is author unauthorized okay let's go to basic auth provide the user in password then send then we should get the value so but the point is here we are providing the plain user id password but the postman will convert that into a base 64 encoder and then send it okay like that all the programming languages also having the support of converting that that's not a big deal but that's how you test it and that's how you create it okay so i hope you uh, like this video and then uh, uh, with respect to the series I have one more video planned as a next video to cover some other authentication methods like OAuth to flow. At least we will see how the um, you know how the design pattern is and then uh, how do we test those uh, URLs which are protected by like OAuth to kind of thing via Postman and then so on. Okay, so that will make the conclusion of the series and then I hope you uh, like it and then you got something new from this. If you like this video, please share it with your friends and then uh, yeah so. I'll see you in the next video. Until then, thanks for watching.